So I'm gonna start this project with a empty marinara jar and putting the food coloring into the Mod Podge. I'm essentially mixing it all together to turn it into kind of a murky brownish green color. I'm getting out a cookie sheet and some newspaper. I'm pouring the mixture, the Mod Podge mixture into the jar and I'm spinning the jar, let the excess drain out. We're gonna take all of our bottles and we're gonna bake these. And as you can see, each of them kind of has a different tint. It's beginner friendly, faux vintage decor on a budget. First, we're gonna repurpose a one gallon glass pickle jar. And then we have some decorative nautical rope. I'm measuring out a vertical strips. So I'm gonna end up cutting eight of these. I'm gonna start using my glue gun to attach them on the side of the jar. And all I'm doing is I'm evenly spacing these out. And then I'll do that, continue on until all eight are glued on. We're gonna measure around the jar. We're gonna need two long strips there and then glue one around the bottom. Put in some sand from the dollar store and a flameless LED candle. I hope you enjoyed seeing this one come together. Go to your local dollar store and grab a few glass candle holders. Take off any stickers that are on these jars and go and wash the jars. Take your lids outside and spray paint them. Let these dry and move on to the glass candle holders. Mix up some five minute epoxy, dip your knob into it and center it onto the painted lid. Move on to the candle holders, dip it and center it on the jar. Now let's place these in the bathroom. You can really put anything into these that you want to, some Q-tips, smaller hair ties, and also cotton rounds. These apothecary jars will help you organize your bathroom items and look really cool. For this project, I'm gonna be using a variety of sizes of mason jars, and I'm gonna be taking the centerpiece out of each of the jar's lids. I'm gonna be using an alcohol prep pad to clean the surface of each jar. And I'm gonna be using folk art home decor chalk paint. Paint the chalk paint onto the recycled or mason jar, but you're just gonna go ahead and get one nice smooth coat. So I'll go ahead and paint the rest of the jars. And all you're gonna do is just lightly start sanding over the over the marks. Here they all are, all distressed. Now I have a little bit of twine. I'm just gonna wrap it around a few times. It just gives it a little more of that farmhouse feel if that's what you're going for. But, and all you do is put soap inside your jar and screw the lid on. And I'll be using them to store cotton balls, toothbrushes, a little vase, and my makeup brushes. So I have my jars, they are cleaned out. You're gonna need stickers, whatever you want. Make sure that you're getting the ones that are thicker, like the foam ones. Take your stickers, put them on here, wherever you want to put them. We're just going to spray paint these. Big reveal. I'm gonna take these little battery packs. I'm just gonna kinda stick these down in there. Here they are with the lights off. They're gorgeous! All right, so we're gonna start with a vase from Dollar Tree. Go ahead and cover this entire thing with this frosted glass spray paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it directly on the bottom here, and we're gonna place it on top. So now we're gonna start with some ribbon, and I have these really cute leaves. Now you wanna make sure that you get the hot glue all the way around, and then slowly secure the ribbon. And I've come down to using two of these leaves, going in with my scissors to cut the ends of the tails of the ribbon. And once I've poured the whole bag of the rocks into the vase, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to detach the solar light top. Here's the finished product out on my screened-in porch. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Let's start with this little bottle from the vitamins. I just took air dry clay that I had from my kids. Then we're gonna take a rolling pin, or in my case, I'm using a glass vase. It should be like something like this. Then we're gonna take this bottle and cover it. We can take extra from the bottom, then we're gonna blend it all in. I'm making this movement to smooth out the edge a little bit. So the first place I'm gonna decorate using just a regular spoon, and we're just gonna continue going like this the top. And don't you think that this is a super fun and cool way to recycle an old bottle from the vitamins? We're gonna get started by painting and the quart jars that I picked out, I'm using multi-surface paint from DecoArt. You can see that I'm applying on the inside and I'm using a fan brush. I can start working on the labels. I made mine the width of packaging tape. We're gonna carefully cut out all of these letters. Now I have um, these totally opaque after a couple coats of paint. So I'm going to lay out my letters and then we're gonna lay this down. And I usually flip mine over just to get everything adjusted. Carefully press down, pulling hard and press this down to get all the bubbles out. You need to use a material that is stiff enough to hold its shape. So I'm going to cut this out now. Now in the center, you poke a hole and cut an X shape, just like that. Now pop that inside the lid. 
and there you go, it will, it will dispense. The last step is to just fill our jars. I'm gonna take just some disinfectant wipes. And there we go, now we are done. It doesn't really matter what kind of jar you use, you just need one that has a wide mouth and start getting the labels off. So we're gonna use some Krylon Sea Glass spray paint as light as possible. Cut your sisal for the handle. Fold it in half, add a little bit of painter's tape here at the end, give it a nice cut. Squeeze some hot glue and lay your first piece of sisal down and then continue all the way around. And now you'll never look at pickle jars the same way again because we've just turned one into a coastal theme lantern. Then we'll need a glass. I have those glasses from uh, tiramisu. We're also gonna need some sort of like drawing. Cut out the image. So for this, I'm gonna be using the color shot uh, paint marker. And then we're gonna simply transfer this image onto our glass. Can you tell that this is a woman? When the glasses are dry, we're gonna take some paint. We're gonna paint from the inside and we're gonna create this beautiful, beautiful final product. Isn't it gorgeous, right? And this is our copper lid and glass jar. You could use also some E6000. It fits almost perfect in the center of our jar. This little tea light I'm going to take little puck lights, self-adhesive Velcro, get it in the center as much as possible. And I got some copper wire. Now I'm going to wrap it around just to make sure it's secure. This is a really large canister from the Dollar Tree. Just tear some pretty large sections of the tissue paper. Use my Mod Podge on the inside. It looks like a really beautiful frosted glass. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how I style them in my home. So I'm just gonna take a little white sand and place it into the jar. I'm just gonna go ahead and set these fairy lights part way into the jar. Add sea glass pieces to the jar, some shells to the jar as well. Place the lid on top and screw it into place. I'm going to add seedlings from trees pine cone. And then I'm going to place the rest of the lights around that top pine cone. I'm a big fan of lilacs, so I grab some faux lilacs, pour in a little pledge floor care cleaner, spin the jar around so that it coats the whole jar inside. Next, I'm going to take some white glitter, pour it into the jar, spin the jar around so that it coats the whole jar, and draw on eyes and a mouth. I hope this inspires you to make some solar lights that are seasonal for your home.